Right, hello. So in this series we are going to be making an ATM. So I've got the Gmod wiki open. Uh, I will need that for checking out some code. So we're not in game yet, we'll quickly make the add-on generic, like all the general files we're going to need, and then we can go in game. Right. So just going to you guys for add-ons. Let's call it ATM. Oh no. Custom underscore ATM. Right, so all we need to do basically is just create a basic entity. I uh, need to make it so that you can give money to it and uh, you can take money out of it and it saves that data in a file. Right, uh, so let's start with a Lua folder and then we may as well do the entity first, entity. And then we can just do a concert gmod base entity. Okay, so gmod base entity, then we can work as example and sent or, or script entity. Right, so we need three files, we need shared, CL in it, and oh, I don't know, entities. There we go. So we need three files, CL underscore in it, dot lower. And don't know. I need it in it. And we're going to need a shad. Right. Uh, so if we open all three of those, we'll just copy this jet basic code. Uh, that's client. Right. Uh, that's it in it. I'll leave links to all these sites in the description. I'll also make sure to put the final product in the description as well if you need it. Right, uh, we'll may as well add the shared now. Uh, the type and base should be fine. Those don't need anything. Let's change the print names to call it. Just cost, custom ATM. This can really be anything. Author anything. Just put your name out for brick wall. Contact put whatever you want. That's just people don't really see this. So it's not really point, but you know, put it in if you want to. Right, in it. I don't know why I close that, we should probably keep that open. What is that shared? Right. In it, uh, this is the server side. Obviously shared is a mix between client and server, which is quite useful, so we can create config tables and all that stuff in there. Model, that'll be in the model. Uh, we can change that when we get in game. Physics uh, type and move type and solid should all be fine. Just allows it to move, that gives it the physics just such as colliding stuff. Set solid, don't really know what that does, but it's more about physics, most of the stuff is generic and you'll hardly ever need to change unless you know more specific stuff. Right, physics is just more physics stuff, you don't really need to know what that does, I don't, I can't find out it. Right, uh, in it looks uh, fine, uh, don't really need all these comments, but you can keep them there if they want you, this tell you what to do. Uh, we don't need to draw an entity outline, I don't know if that still works. Uh, draw model, that basically means that the client can actually see the model. I'll show you what it looks like without this, so we'll take that off. Add world tip, we'll, I'll show you that in a minute as well. Right, so that's the entity, don't really need to change anything there. Uh, as for in Lua, create another folder called autorun, so it'll basically automatically run the scripts when the server starts up. We'll have a config one for generic config, we'll call this custom atm, let's go config. Right, Lua. Right, uh, and then we may as well have a generic one. And we can this can just be called custom ATM underscore auto run. I don't know if we'll need this, but it's just nice to have it. Basically, you can just carry any code out you want in this. It's basically, they're both shared files. And just be open both of those. Now we should be fine to start up our game. While I'm doing that, I will try to. Oh, never mind. Apparently it's full screen, so I can't. But give me a minute. Right. Okay. It should be fine for tapping out. Right. Uh, load up dark RP because it's going to be to do with dark RP money. And we'll just wait for this to load. We shouldn't have to restart that much because most of it should automatically update while we're doing stuff. So yeah, this tutorial shouldn't be too long. All I'll basically show you how to do is just set up a basic ATM. Uh, we're not going to do any. 3D, 2D buttons or anything like that in the ATM. It'll just be, it'll just show in the ATM like how much money you've got. 
in your balance and then it'll just say like press use E to use. Uh, one thing we didn't do, which will make it not work, is in the shadow lure need to make sure it's spawnable. So we put end dot spawnable equals true. Also we may as well add a category, so we call it that'll be end dot category. So that's what the category name should be. Uh, call it custom ends. Right, now that should be fine if we just load up. Right. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, so yeah, so I'll basically show you how to make a simple ATM. And why do you have two? Oh, yeah, right, okay. Meant to be. Sorry, I forgot to create the folder name. Right, so we'll call this custom underscore ATM underscore end. Right, this will cry a game restart. Right, anyway, so we're back in game. Uh, we've got the custom ends category, and then inside that we have the custom ATM. You spawn it, you see the outline of the bathtub to pick it up, but there is no model, and that is because uh, we commented out software a model. If we uncomment that, uh, you can see the model is suddenly in view. Like I said, I'll show you about the add world tip. Uh, don't know if this will work. Might cause some errors. Oh, no, there we go. So it basically just means that you can just see it saying some text. I don't really use that, but it does seem like it could come useful. Right, okay. So we've got the basics outlined. Let's get a model. I don't know if there's a default ATM in Gmod. Uh, so there's a nice model we can find. Uh, could just use something really simple. Hmm. Or you can find your own. We this looks like that will be fine for us for now. We'll just use that. You can easily go find a model in the workshop. Make your own. Do whatever you want. Well, this should be fine for what we need, so we're going to init and here we go, set model, we'll just change it there. So now if we respawn it, see it's that model. Mm, yeah, I'll probably have to fix that. Right, uh, so, as for fixing it spawning the ground, if we go on gmod wiki and we search spawn function, I think that might have an example. Right, spawn function, uh, Okay, I think this should fix it. So this is just a entity crunch that allows us to do stuff on spawn. So I don't know if we might need to... So... Rotates it. So this basically, I think this makes it spawn face towards the player, yeah. But we can also make it so that uh, the set spawn pos is going to be plus a vector. Vector is basically like a position. Zero, zero... Zero, zero. Fifth, ten. I don't know if this is the right direction. I think that is, yeah, there we go. So if we just make that like 15. If we just make that like 25. If we can type. There you go, yeah. Now it spawns above ground. And obviously we could do whatever we want to when it spawns. Uh, right, okay. Uh, now. We d what should we do now? What we'll do is we'll get the CL in it sorted. Right, okay. Uh, so if we get the CL in it here, we could do some 3D 2D. So if we search 3D 2D, don't know if it has an example. Yeah, it should have an example. Right, hello. So we're back. Uh, I've adjusted it, so you've got a little screen that fits quite nicely. So how we did that was we just added a cam.start3d2d. I've got all these values here. They base you basically just need to mess around with them till you get it where you want. Uh, angle rotate around axis just rotates around a certain axis, so that'll rotate it up, forward, right, by those degrees. Uh, and as for well, so did I uh, pause uh, angles? You just need to for start free, for cam for 3d2d. You just need to make sure you are. Uh, Use the position and angle of the entity. As for, because otherwise it will be fixed, like in a certain angle or position of the world, and look a bit dodgy. As for these variables up here, we've got local x and y and local width and height. Uh, x and y, and just basically the position. So if I like, um, change that to like 80, you would see it would move forward a bit. Whereas if I just put it back up, it's basically just moving it around on the plane, uh, 2D plane that it's already on. Width and height is just basically the size of this rectangle. 
Right, so what I can do is I've changed, so I've just drawn, so if you just use these X and Y and width and height, it gives us a good working space to draw stuff in.